Right, this is a problem which comes up fairly often um, and it manifests in different ways. So one of them is um, this example here. Can anyone help me with this TPS fluctuating not touch and throttle I have calibrated several times? If you play it here, you can see the throttles jump around here. Now if he's calibrated it, then um, I'm assuming he's done that with the engine stopped, which means that it would be reading 0%. When the engine stopped, and now when the engine's running, it's reading about 3% or so, and also it's jumping around. So that's one manifestation of it. Um, the other, and that's probably the most common time, but sometimes people also report with drive by wire um, that they'll get, um, um, you know, pedal um, calibration issues and that sort of thing, so it'll disable the drive by wire. Sometimes you see core temperatures jumping around, um, and um, sometimes map the manifold pressure with signal will jump around as well. Um, that's a bit harder to know because people don't always know what manifold pressure they're expected to see, but um, the result of that jumping around is that your fuel map at idle, for example, might need to change a lot based on different things, and um, that makes it very hard to tune. So what is this all about? This is what we call a ground loop. Um, I think I've made forum posts and videos and that sort of thing before, but I'm sure none of those sites are for up any longer. Um, and the way this is the way that it's supposed to be connected. So you're supposed to have the sensor ground from the ECU only connected to all your sensors. And the power ground on the ECU or battery ground as it's called in Caltech language has got to go to the engine or the battery. Um, if you connect the sensor ground to the engine anywhere, um, then you have what's called a common impedance path and you get a voltage offset um, for your sensors, which throws up all the readings. But this is why there's a separate sensor ground on the ECU. Um, now, if you want to go into the um, actual theory about why this happens, it's because this ground wire here that goes from the ECU to you know, the engine or the battery has got to carry all the ground current for all the loads that are connected to the ECU, such as um, injectors, electronic throttle bodies, or anything that draws the least amount of current. So if this is connected to ground as well, then whatever voltage you drop you've got across that wire um, and the connections to it are going to appear here. Um, so yeah, factory looms normally have got this sorted. I've only seen one um, factory loom where they actually got this wrong, uh, which is the NA um, MX5 one point six liter. Um, but everyone else I've seen has got this correct. Um, and uh, yeah, so factory looms is not a problem. In the Haltex supply looms, the sensor ground is, is separate from the power ground, so that should be fine as well. So if you're seeing this sort of thing happening, it's probably because you've got your sensor ground connected to the ground on the engine or the, the body or the battery somewhere. Um, some sensors actually have their grounds connected to the body or the sensor itself. So some NOx sensors do that. Um, I've seen on the oxygen sensors as well, narrow band ones. Um, so you've just got to be careful of that. And the way to to check that this is a problem is you unplug the connector from the ECU and you buzz out between the sensor ground pin and um, ground on the car um, to see if it's actually shorted anywhere. Um, now the um, next CCUs from uh, 1.25 onwards um, actually have a check for this. Um, so if I provide power to the ECU here, so I've got no DTCs. Um, and I'll just um, short my sensor ground to the ground here. If I restart the ECU, you see it's detected a sensor ground loop there. So hopefully um, yeah, for future installations, this will be a lot easier for people to recognize the problem. Um, but yeah, that's the problem. So um, the way you fix it, obviously, is you find the part where it is shorted to the body um, or the engine block and you um, disconnect that. And then you'll need to recalibrate your TPS. Um, and then happy days. All right. Thanks, everyone.